thank you to Cricut for teaming up with me on today's video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am still awake. It is about 10.40 at night. Kyle is sleeping, the boys are sleeping, I'm the only one up, but we did not get our nighttime routine done as far as like cleaning goes. We had such a busy day, there were so many errands to run, I feel like we were just on the go. I also was editing a little bit earlier, and so I'm just kind of now coming into the kitchen, but I do want to get everything nice and clean so we can start the day fresh, and I also have a few projects that I wanna get done, so we have a lot to get done, but hopefully you guys can get some cleaning motivation and just enjoy hanging out with me tonight, so let's jump into it. I wanna hear you say yeah, yeah, yeah. Sides biting for my eyes to stay open wide until I can get through another round before one of us goes to sleep. So, tonight I'm kind of doing my typical nighttime cleaning routine where I just like to kind of focus on the living room and also the kitchen and dining room area, just mostly like the main living space, and that way we can wake up and everything is kind of nice and put away. I'm not doing like deep cleaning or anything. I'm just focusing on kind of clearing the surfaces and then wiping things down and just making sure that we can start our day the next day with a clean slate. I have several cleaning routines, like a daily cleaning routine, a nighttime cleaning routine, and then weekly as well. But I really do feel like my nighttime cleaning routine is the one that has the biggest impact on our daily life just because it does help with your daily reset and it helps us start out things on the right foot the next day. If you don't have a nighttime cleaning routine, I would definitely think about starting to work on one. I really feel like they are just so beneficial. a new mom I feel like I struggled so much with things just not being perfect and now at this point now that our kids are a little bit more grown I feel like I've learned to appreciate the imperfections in life a little bit more obviously I would love if things were just perfect but that's just not possible we're all just living real life so things are definitely not perfect most of the time but I kind of feel like I realize more and more the things that really do matter. And while a clean home is very nice and it actually does have a big impact on our family, I've also realized the mess will be there whenever I get around to it, but the memories that I can make with our family is more important. So a lot of times I will try to kind of focus on family time in the evenings and then push off the cleaning until everyone else goes to bed. With that being said, a lot of times Kyle and I will kind of do this together and then also a lot of times we do have like a quick family pickup but anyway I'm just kind of sharing this because it's something that I struggled with in the beginning and I feel like at this point I've kind of learned to focus on family time more and tackle the chores when I can and honestly I feel like I'm a lot happier for it because I'm not putting that pressure on myself I'm not trying to make everything perfect all the time I just know everything will get done one way or the other, but I'm trying my best not to miss out on all the family time just so that we can have a perfectly clean house more often. If I was a millionaire, would it really make us happy if our house had rules to spare? Would we sleep this close? And if we slept all through You don't 
So I love that song that was just playing. It reminds me actually of when I was little. I don't really think that I've shared this story with you guys before, but when I was probably about three or four years old, I remember we did not really have much at all. I remember walking in our kitchen to find some food and we had half of a can of soup in the fridge along with half of a container of milk and that was all we had in our fridge and then in our cabinets we had about half a loaf of bread and I think a jar of peanut butter maybe and that was all we had. We really just did not have a whole lot. I know for Christmas that year I got a little stuffed animal from the Dollar Tree and I was so thankful for it. I love it. I actually still have it and it's one of like my most special items that I have. But during that time where we really didn't have a lot, I actually loved that time in our lives because we were just so grateful for everything. And I really love how that song talked about how happiness really doesn't come from money. I just think that's a good reminder to always be grateful for what you have and to focus on the things that truly matter. So anyway, I don't really know why, but I just kind of felt compelled to share that with you guys after listening to that song. But I think it's something that's good to keep in mind, especially during the holidays. Just try to keep your focus on the things that truly do matter. So I've shared this a lot with you guys, but I really do love taking my time when I'm cleaning in the evening. I feel like you can just kind of focus on homemaking a little bit more. And I love being able to take the time to enjoy taking care of our home and providing a clean and peaceful home for our family. I feel like these things are very important and it's definitely not something to feel frustration over. I think that's something that sometimes happens because it's just a mundane thing. You do this every single day after day and tomorrow you'll do it again, but really try to slow down and just take pride in what you're doing. Know that it does make a big difference and just know that what you're doing really does matter.
right everything is all clean normally this is where i would just go to bed and be done with the night but i actually have some projects that i'm going to be making i really want to make some gifts for my siblings i have four sisters and one brother and kyle has one sister so i found these trays actually at hobby lobby they were just um this color and then i went ahead and stained them the other day i actually am going to be using my cricut to make them personalized for each of our siblings and their families so i'm gonna go ahead and do that now just because it's really hard to get that stuff done during the day there's always so much to do and then once the kids come home it's just chaotic and crazy so we're gonna go ahead and do that now i cannot wait to see how they're gonna turn out Watching football, watching families grow, the old kids table. So to make these personalized trays, you're going to need a Cricut Maker. I have the Cricut Explorer too, and then you'll also need a Cricut mat. The trimmer is optional, but it does make large cuts easier. Next, you'll need transfer tape, and then you can either use vinyl or you can do what I'm doing and use stencil vinyl and chalk paint. And I'm just using sponge brushes and a round brush. And of course, you'll need some trays and also wood stain if you'd like to do that as well. The first thing you're going to do is open up the Cricut Design Space app. From there, you can either upload a design that you already have made, like I'm doing here, or you can make your own design right in the app just by adding shapes and text and then changing the font to one that you like. I created these designs on the PicMonkey website, but you can also find tons on Etsy and add them into the Cricut app that way as well. Then once you have your design in the app, just resize it to fit your tray. And then I like to select the designs and click attach. That is optional, but it just allows you to control where the designs are cut on your vinyl. Then you stick your vinyl or stencil vinyl onto the Cricut cutting mat, load it into the machine and select what material you're using and click the button to start cutting. You can cut so many materials with the Cricut and make so many different projects. Really the sky is the limit. I actually love watching Cricut tutorials or reels on Instagram to see new ways to use my Cricut. It really is just so neat to see all the different things that you can make. But anyway, once the Cricut is done cutting, you'll pull all the vinyl off the mat and then you're going to weed it. If you're using standard vinyl, you will pull all the extra vinyl away, but since I'm creating a stencil so I can paint, I'm going to be doing a reverse weed, meaning that I'll only pull away my design and leave all of the extra outside area. Then once you have it weeded, you will stick the transfer tape on top of your design. And I actually learned this tip from my friend who uses her Cricut in her Etsy business, but she will stick the transfer tape onto her clothes for a quick second just to make it slightly less sticky and it makes the process go a little bit smoother. Then just press your design onto your tray where you want it, remove the transfer tape and start painting. Again, if you're using regular vinyl, you would be done at this point, but personally, I just like the painted look for these trays. So now I'm just going to continue on with that process until I have all of the designs painted on all of my trays. And one tip if you're painting is to remove the stencil before it's fully dry. This just helped me to make sure those paint lines were extra crisp. So fill your plate and fill your drink and fill this house with family. The kind of love that all these years can't wash away. Cause the older that I get, I see the life is short and bittersweet. Thank God for this Thanksgiving day. Watching football, watching families grow, the old kids' table. This was such a cool project. I love how it turned out and I think that our siblings are going to love them too. And my thought is you can either use them on your bed, on your coffee table, in the kitchen or bathroom, or even just on a shelf to display. It's super versatile and obviously very customizable. And since I got these trays half off at Hobby Lobby, they were only about seven or eight dollars and I only spent a few dollars on the vinyl and paint. So they were really very cost effective gifts. But at the same time, they're also very special. If you've been on the fence about getting a Cricut, it really is so versatile and you don't have to be super crafty since there are so many designs and ideas online, but you can make so, so much with it. 
So I will have a link down below for the Cricut machine that I have so you can check it out. And if you guys end up making this DIY or another fun DIY with your Cricut machine, definitely tag me. I would love to see what you're creating. And thanks again to Cricut for teaming up with me on today's video. Put your dishes in the kitchen sink and let the leftover year just wash away. As we made it through, I do believe the longest year in history. Oh my gosh, it is almost three in the morning. I got carried away just doing all of this, but I love how everything turned out. I feel like it's so cute. I think I'm gonna wait for it to dry a little bit more. And then tomorrow I'll probably add like Mod Podge on top just to make it more durable and then i also want to go through like my sink cabinet not my sink cabinet my cleaning cabinet and kind of organize that a little bit more and i'm also going to show you guys how i like kind of deep clean my e-cloths so there is a few more things that i want to show you but it is so late or early however you want to think about it so i am going to go to bed because i do have to get up tomorrow to get the kids off to school and do all the things so i'll see you guys tomorrow okay so it is the next day it's already been a day i've been busy doing so many things working on videos just lots of stuff there's a few more things that i want to do so you guys saw i finished all this last night i'm gonna turn you around and show you an up close now that like we have daylight but i am going to add some mod podge on top just so that it's a little bit more durable and it kind of doesn't chip or anything and then i also am going to show you guys how I deep clean our e-cloths and then I also have this cabinet down in here. It is not organized really at all. I like barely did as I was unloading everything when we first moved in and ever since then it's just like things just get shoved in there and it's just chaotic. So I'm gonna take a few minutes and go ahead and organize that and then I think that was everything that I kind of wanted to tackle. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So I actually just went ahead and did the first one. I just did the one that I made for our family um, because I want to make sure that the Mod Podge is going to do what I think it's going to do. I think it, I'm hoping that it's going to like dry clear like it usually does and just not look bad. So I'm only I'm going to let that dry on ours and then if that works good, then I'll just go ahead and do the rest. But like I said, I want to make sure that I don't mess up all of my siblings and Kyle's siblings. So. While that is drying, I'm actually gonna show you guys how I deep clean our e-cloths. Most of the time you just wash your e-cloths as you usually do, just don't use fabric softener, but sometimes they kind of get like a buildup or they just don't feel really soft after you've used them so long. Like so many of my e-cloths I've had for probably four years or almost four years and they're still going strong, but sometimes you just have to like deep clean them. So what you're actually gonna do is boil them in water and I'll show you once I get a pot of water going, um, I'll show you what is gonna come out of them. It's really gross, but you'll feel such a difference in your class once you do this. I heard you got a new life. And I she doesn't make you smile like I did back then. Oh. Resist one more touch of your skin One more late night, you know I will give in This ain't the last time I say last time I dream about getting back together sometimes Like I forget the way that you were me Like it was nothing, oh I cried In the my pillow for you It's true, you knew But you're all I'm thinking about tonight 
Here I'm just starting to sort through my ink cloths. I'm not going to be cleaning every single one today just because not all of them really need to be deep cleaned, but I try to do this every few months when they start feeling a little bit rough and not super soft. And if you have ink cloths, especially if they're older, you will feel such a difference once you deep clean them like this. All right, while I'm still waiting for the pot of water to boil so I can start boiling my e-cloths, um, this one is basically all dry and it did dry clear and it does look really good. I'm a little bit concerned that there's like a little bit of a gap around the edge. So I might end up just like seeing if they have black caulk or something and adding like a little bit of that, but otherwise it looks great. So I'm gonna go ahead and just um, seal the rest of them with some Mod Podge and then once this boils, I'll show you like the process of deep cleaning your ink cloths. I'll start pulling away until you fade from view Cause I'll be losing trace of what I wanted to do If you get any closer I should probably warn you I'll scream beating the ground and bloody both of my knees Swear I'll turn it around But then the story repeats If you get any closer I should probably warn you. Just know that I, I will usually boil the e cloths for about 10 minutes or so, just making sure to kind of move them around occasionally. I love using tongs just because I feel like it helps move them around easily in a boiling pot of water. But you'll have to wait until the end to see how dirty the boiling water gets. It's amazing all of the stuff that it pulls out of these cloths after you've been using them for quite a while. It makes you realize that this is so beneficial to do quite often. To me, it's kind of like slow vacuuming where on one hand, it's very gross and disgusting to see all that comes out of them. But on the other hand, it's very satisfying to know that you're getting them so clean. I'm really good at the start, but never follow through. Give you all of my heart until it's going smooth And then I get unsteady and I start forgetting Oh please don't let me just know that I Would try to push you away And just know that I might say Say I don't need you but don't let me push you away just know that i might say say i don't need you but don't let me don't let me so here is our first batch of deep cleaned e-cloths they are so much softer already 
So I'll probably end up washing these, just putting them in a regular laundry wash just to make sure I get everything out. But now everything should have been released from them and they are good to go. You didn't question me when I said I wasn't ready to love you. You let me talk about him till my feelings were all figured out. You never saw me as broken, you saw me as whole from If you have been a part of my channel for a long time, you've seen me do so many Cricut crafts. You've seen me do labels, just using my Cricut for a lot of different things around our home. But I would love to know if you guys would be interested in doing a Cricut giveaway. I feel like that would be so much fun, but I'd love just to hear if that's something you're interested in or if you'd rather see a different style giveaway. So either way, let me know. And then also, if you are interested in the giveaway with Cricut, let me know if you'd be interested in the big Cricut machine like I have, which is the Cricut Explorer 2, or if you'd rather have something a little bit more compact like the Cricut Joy. When I see the worst of me, you see the best of me, yeah, the best of me. Oh, baby, no, 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 I don't know how you do it. I remember the night of my birthday, I cried on your couch. Cause I hated the way that the pressure was pushing me down. So once I'm done boiling the e-cloths, I will just bring them over to the sink, give them a good rinse and then wring them out and then I actually like to toss them into the washer and just wash them as normal and that way I just know that they're like fully clean and I've gotten all the buildup and everything out of them. And one thing I did want to know is whenever you are washing your e-cloths, you can wash them as normal but don't use any softener when you wash them. I've got dreams keeping me busy. Every day feels like a rush But there's one thing always missing And it's your time And I know that it's my fault Know that I've been gone Okay, now all the e-cloths are all cleaned. These signs are totally dry, so I have some black caulking just because like a few of the corners you can kind of see where the excess uh, Mod Podge went and so I just want to kind of clean that up by by going around the corners So I think this is just gonna clean them up and make them look really nice and finished
So as you can see, I made three different styles of trays. You guys will have to let me know which one is your favorite. I feel like I love them all, but for different reasons. And just knowing my siblings, I feel like they all fit them really well. But I would love to hear which one of these styles are your favorite. So for my cleaning cabinet, I've actually had these organizers for quite a while and I've just kept putting it off, kind of thinking that it was going to be a bigger task than it was, but it really ended up only taking me about 20 minutes to get this done and the impact was incredible. So a lot of the organizers that I used, I actually already had and was just kind of using them in a different area in the house. And then I also had some command items that you'll see me put up in just a minute. And then I also had a few containers that I got from the Target Dollar Spot a few months back. And so everything in here was very affordable, but I love how big the impact was. So I wanted to take a minute and kind of talk about the different things that I'm using in here. So first off, I love these hooks for hanging bottles. They are command strips, so they're not going to damage your cabinets, but they're just really great for utilizing vertical space. A few other things I use to organize with is the dish that I attach to the side of the cabinet, and I use that to hold sponges. And then the little command hooks that I had on the door are perfect for hanging towels. Also, I had a big jar for dishwasher detergent tabs, and then I used a clear container with a hole in the side to store garbage bags. And that's really nice because then you can just stick the garbage bags through the hole, you pull them out of the hole, and it just makes it nice and easy to dispense them that way. So that is going to be everything for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today. I hope you got lots of cleaning motivation and homemaking inspiration. I also wanted to remind you to check out Cricut down below. I will leave that link in the description box for you guys, but I hope you are having the most amazing day and I cannot wait to see you in my next one. Bye guys. Bye.